So welcome back to all the participants. We'll start the Q and A session uh, in a minute. Uh, so first we'll take uh, center one three zero nine. I have a uh, suggestion like uh, uh, whether all these works, all these tasks which are uh, to be done online means using internet. If you are doing all these things in a, in a lab session, because all students, are, all participants are trying to see the same time, that, uh, that may be the biggest problem. So, we can give some tasks like uh, what we can do along with the peer or let's say in a group that could be done in a lab, offline. Then later on, they can uh, take this assignment, uh, take this, uh, whatever they decided or refined done, the environment is done, or they can upload later on at their respective times. So, that would be better than this uh, session what are we doing today? Okay, uh, we do accept uh, your suggestion, even we did not accept this, uh, expect that uh, private site like Wikispaces will crash due to 3000 participants. So uh, we uh, understand what you are saying and we will definitely for the next workshop we will make sure that your uh, suggestions are taken care of. Center 1247, School of Management Sciences. Uh, good evening sir. Uh, my question is, uh, you uh, gave us so many examples for visualization through all the repositories, mm -hmm. but uh, being a domain of civil engineering, I was unable to find out uh, my domain's uh, visualization, simulation and all. I just wanted to ask that, uh, are you going to provide some guidelines how I can create my own simulation or animation or visualization for my domain topic? If there will be any guidance from your side. So, uh, we do have some guidelines for creating of visualizations, but it will be a little difficult to, you know, uh, mentor you through that process. So, what we can do is we can put up, uh, you know, some examples of how these visualizations are to be created. And, uh, you know, we'll post the link on Moodle, which you can follow for creating your own. Uh, these are called instruction design templates. We have some instruction design templates which can guide mm -hmm. you through the process of selecting what sort of visualization is required for your particular topic if you need to create them. But this will stop at the point of deciding what is it that you want to show. The actual process of creating the programming part that you will have to manage on your own. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening. Sir, actually, uh, this program is very useful for our uh, community. But uh, due to this uh, wiki and other things, uh, our uh, faculties uh, feel very tough. Uh, but it's the easiest thing, but uh, sometimes uh, they feel uh, due to login and other problems, uh, they are facing some, uh, they, are, uh, they are having a lack of interest. So, uh, other, apart from uh, we are in IIT, we are using a lot of uh, communication tools uh, like Scilab and uh, English development tutorial uh, tools. Uh, that and all included in this session means it is very useful for our uh, staff, sir. Okay. So, uh, the coming to the first comment about the wikis, see any new technology when you are learning the first time, there will be some learning curve. So, the learning curve will be both for you are learning as well as for, you know, working out the technology glitches. So, once the goal of this workshop is to expose you to such technologies and uh, I mean, it, just by doing one workshop, it, it cannot become an expert user of the technology. You have to keep using it and, you know, over a period of time, that expertise and familiarity will develop. Uh, coming to the second question of about whether we are going to do Scilab or any of those uh, simulation tools, that is not within scope of this workshop. This workshop is a broad workshop meant for teachers of all disciplines. And uh, Scilab, etc. will be specific for particular domain teachers, which will be in other workshops which are associated with the content specific topics. 1339. Uh, uh, so, regarding this uh, pedagogy program, so this program is very effective uh, for all of us and uh, all the remote centers are uh, getting benefited. Uh, so, thing is that, uh, sir, uh, for the today's program, the visualization process, sir, is it effective for the, uh, in your classroom, uh, because of, uh, for our university pattern, because uh, all the students are, uh, that means, uh, uh, they are acquainted with the traditional concept. So, we are also what uh, normally we are doing. So, we are completing our courses, the regular courses, as per the uh, semester curriculum. Uh, so, thing is that this visualization process is effective, uh, that means to complete all the syllabuses uh, as per the uh, time schedule. Okay, so 
the visualization can be used as a substitute for a lot of the lecturing that you do. So instead of explaining the lot of detail, what you can do is you can show an appropriate visualization, pause it as at an at the correct time, and ask students to predict. So the entire this entire workshop has been about how to stop doing lecturing and how to increase the amount of work or amount of active learning that happens in the classroom. So that is one way in which you can use visualization and still complete your syllabus. So the key idea here is there are two ideas. One is to find a visualization which is appropriate for the topic and the other is to use the visualization in an appropriate manner. And both of these are what we have focused on in this workshop. Center 1215. How we can integrate various components of lesson plan? As per our peer discussion, manual lesson plan is more con convenient than digital lesson plan. So, please. so the, the point is whether you are creating the lesson plan manually or digitally is not so important. The use of digital technology as part of your lesson plan is the important part. So even if you are going to simply write down the lesson plan wherein you are going to say what you are going to do when in your uh, when you are taking the class and which tools you are going to use, I think that is fine. Okay, uh, RC one three one three. Sir, after creating wiki, after creating wiki page name, so how can we edit or change the page name, sir? Okay. Uh, at this moment, uh, I believe that members do not have uh, options to rename the pages. Uh, only the organizers and the creators will have permissions to change uh, the name of your page. So at, uh, please note that you are using wiki as a student. So all the experience that you have got till now is about how a student will feel when he is doing wiki operations. So there will be a separate. Uh, what do you say, a separate lesson on how to use wiki for uh, as a teacher which will be uploaded tomorrow and it will be a part of your post workshop activity where you will actually create your own wiki and do various tasks. So then you will be able to see how you can rename the page and explore various functionalities that is possible in wiki uh, within your own uh, created wiki. Yeah, RC1305. Hello, my question is. What specific software can be used for making the simulation? Okay. Is there any specific software name? So there are uh, tons of software to create simulations. So uh, you could do it using uh, Java based softwares. Uh, you have uh, Adobe's uh, premium suit which you can use. Flash. Uh, Flash you can use for creating animations. So all these are uh, some of the um, I mean, few among the many software that are available for creating simulations. If there is any other open source tool is available to work on lesson plan and portfolio other than Wikipedia. So there are lots of uh, lesson plan, I mean other wikis that you can use other than wiki spaces. So uh, some of them are uh, media wiki or you can use PB wiki. Uh, uh, and uh, Moodle itself has a wiki functionality inbuilt in it. So all these, I mean these are some of the examples of various wikis that are available. So if you just go to Wikipedia and enter different wikis available, you will see a lot of them being listed over there. RC1312. Uh, good evening sir. Good evening. Uh, my question is related to wiki. Uh, how can we retain or assure the integrity of the data posted in wiki? If everyone uh, changes the original content of the data means what, uh, what is the original content uh, is retained, uh, what is the um, integrity of the okay. uh, integrity of the uh, content will maybe last, isn't it, ma isn't it sir? Yeah, so uh, quick answer to it, you can always revert back to your original version of wiki that you have already created and as a creator what you can also do is log the page so that nobody, uh, nobody else is able to edit it. So that way you can ensure that whatever data you are uh, creating, it uh, remains intact. But for creating a new page, uh, getting this permission, you have to be a creator or organizer of a wiki. 
we will uh, give you lessons on how to do this uh, tomorrow because this will be a post workshop activity not an in workshop activity wherein you will use wiki as a teacher and not as a student oriental college 1123 uh, sir i have one question how to get text suggestion while creating pages in wiki spaces sir as you demonstrated in afternoon sir uh, so we have uh, facing some problem in that so uh, tag suggestions you can uh, so tag is something that you want uh, your page to have along with it so you can give any tag you want or uh, for example the tag that i used for all the activities were portfolio so the moment you use tags it is one way of filtering them and finding it in pages so tags are used for uh, efficiency of search searching the page so you just type the tag that you want it will automatically pick up from the available tags within the wiki yeah but as we have seen uh, while you are demonstrating how to create the page for tps activity mm -hmm. so whenever you are typing tps mm -hmm. so there is already the tag but when we have created the page and type tps or portfolio so it is counted as zero and nothing is there so when whatever we have typed we cannot identify whether it is right or wrong okay so uh, it may be because of the case go to the uh, particular page that i have created and on the right hand top you will see more options you can see the tags of that use the same case of the tag that is there in that particular page and uh, retype it in your own created page can we enrich such type of suggestion by default uh, given by the wiki space as yes, i uh, have thinking it, that it, it it automatically creates so what might have happened is because there are so many so around there are around 3000 participants who are accessing wiki spaces at the same time the same wiki for trial wiki that may be a reason why the tag suggestions came late so you would have seen google instant sometimes getting turned off uh, when the bandwidth is very low or uh, when there is too much traffic so it might be a similar technical glitch that happened to wiki spaces while you were writing the tags sir uh, one more question i want to ask actually uh, that may uh, this may be a silly question uh, the reliability and the uh, scalability of the wiki spaces as we have experienced the delay and maintenance problem so if we are uh, popular this uh, wiki space so what is the reliability that means the persistency of the wiki space and the scalability problem that we have uh, faces while lab in lab okay. session uh, okay uh, to tell you from my example uh, the reliability of wiki when i gave it to a, a student population of around 300 to 400 was very high so it was highly reliable there were no database errors so uh, we had uh, done a similar exercise for a lower audience when the participants were between 400 to 1000 but uh, for this t10kt so that is why we selected wiki spaces for this particular t10kt workshop and apparently when you scale it above 1000 it seems there are issues for the wiki spaces so we have to troubleshoot what exactly happened but uh, i think for a yeah so i think your classroom will be less than 1000 so in this in which case you can uh, safely trust wiki spaces to work fine has any analysis done for this wiki activity which is been carried out or any rubrics is there so that whenever we try to do this we should have some effective or some research material which is already been carried out so if your questioning is, question is about analyzing the work that your students carry out using a wiki then yes you can write rubrics for it i mean that is similar to what you would do for assessing any group assignment so you would come up with criteria on which the assessment uh, is to be done and you would come up with uh, you know needs improvement and uh, meets expectation and exceeds expectation type of levels for each of those uh, rubrics each of those uh, items so uh, assessing your own as, uh, assignments that you have submitted that we will be having some rubrics which uh, we which have not shared. which is also shared with you uh, on how we are going to be assessing that so for uh, assessing your own activity for each of the activities like for learning objectives we had given self assessment and peer assessment guidelines 
so if that is the question then all these rubrics like for peer instruction think pair share assessment strategy flip classroom all these activities rubrics have already been shared through either assignments or within sessions so are you referring to these assessment rubrics I was uh, referring to the students' rubrics actually, while implementation in the class. They have to create so you will have to create your own rubrics. So what we have created for you is considering you as students. So when you do it for your own students, then you will have to incorporate the content that is, I mean, content specific uh, criteria and create your own rubrics. So ours is only a just a guideline on how to create rubrics. Yeah, one one seven three. Tyagarajar College. We have got two questions from our side. Uh, first question is, uh, when we, how to include equations and images in the wiki page? When we copy a document from the word and copy it in the wiki space, images and uh, uh, equations are missing, sir. This question number one. And question number two is, can we have all the activities that we do in wiki space in Moodle also? What are the differences between the two uh, facilities available? By default, the wiki editor that you see is a what you see, what you get. So what it means is you can just type whatever you want to type, that is it. So equations and all, these are uh, characters which needs more, uh, more finesse or more uh, uh, plugins to make sure that equations are displayed as it is. So even in word, across years they have refined it. So a simple strategy that you can do is uh, put up the word or put it in a Microsoft PowerPoint and create an image of the equation so that this equation is not editable and then upload this image in the wiki page. So this is one way of working around with available resources. Uh, regarding second option, uh, you were comparing Moodle versus wiki. So a uh, simple difference between the two is that a Moodle is a learning management system. So it offers a wide variety of features that a learning, uh, a simple wiki, wiki is only a web page at the end of the day. So a, a difference between a wiki and a Moodle is that wiki has less functionality, but it has very specific functionality that it allows you to collaborate, it allows you to create pages, whereas Moodle you have multiple functionalities associated with the teaching learning activities. It is a software designed specifically for all the packages that come in the teaching learning activity. Moodle also has a wiki. So Moodle in itself has a wiki inside it. If you happen to go about it, so if you have a Moodle in your own institution, you can see that a Moodle wiki can be created. But the only problem is that this wiki is accessible only inside the Moodle. But whereas wiki spaces, you can use direct internet and access it from anywhere. So this is the simple uh, differences between Moodle and a wiki. 1299 Dronacharya College. Good evening sir. Good My evening. question is if somebody forgets the username or password, so is there any way to retrieve it back or uh, we have to create another uh, uh, the login ID? And the second question is can we modify the tabs which are present in wiki pages according to our requirement or can we suggest something according to that? Okay, uh, question number one, uh, there is always a forgot password that is available right when you sign in. So uh, it was working for me twice, so, I ch so some participants had asked me that they had forgotten password, so I checked the functionality yesterday night also and it was working fine. So uh, you try to sign in and uh, click the forgot password and give the email ID, you registered email ID with wiki spaces. You, do, you should not give the user ID, registered email ID with wiki spaces, they will send you a password uh, reset uh, mail. And regarding your second uh, uh, query, if you create your own individual wiki, you can select themes. So uh, this wiki spaces, the wiki for trial is running on one particular theme. Uh, theme as in uh, what you see in uh, blogs or uh, other pages. So there is a specific theme for this wiki which you can change for your own wiki. 
So there you can adjust the tab spaces or what comes on right. All these are editable and you have to be a creator of the wiki to make these changes. So as a member you will not be able to do these changes. You have to be a creator of the wiki to make these changes. Uh, 1166 Abhilai Institute of Technology. Sir, uh, first of all from all of the participants from this institute, we thanks IIT Mumbai for organizing such a uh, very informative. Sir, uh, my two question. One regarding, uh, sir, uh, for Wiki, have you uh, uh, prepared any complete instructional video for how to operate Wiki? And uh, second, sir, is there any fear to share our credential with the Wiki? Because uh, we uh, know, sir, there is some uh, problem with the Wiki itself. So, if we are interacting with the VP, means we are sharing our credential with the VP on net. So, is there any fear to work with the wiki space? So, there are two questions, sir. Over to you. So, uh, so regarding your first question, uh, we do have a, a video that we did for the last pedagogy workshop, but it is after, so after you get exposed to all these activities, so that is what we are going to give you as post workshop wiki activity where you create your own wiki where the instructions are clear uh, so all these are uh, available in that particular activity and regarding your second question uh, i do not see any problem uh, in uh, credentials yeah so uh, as such it's an academic activity so there is really and most of what we are doing in you know we want more and more students to access this uh, uh, teaching learning material. So, there really is no problem about credentials at this point. You know, as long as you do not give your, you know, the same, you do not use the same username, ID and password which you keep for your other online banking transactions, you should be fine. 1, 2, double six. How to protect my wiki page so that anyone cannot edit my page? Okay, uh, if you are asking, you have to be a creator of the wiki and you will get permissions to log the page. At this moment, uh, your wiki page, since you are a member, it is accessible by all. We cannot restrict certain specific members from not accessing your page as all of them have equal rights. We will give you a post workshop activity where you will create your own wiki, where you can do all the fancy stuff that you want in terms of permission or uh, experimentation within the wiki. But sir, uh, it has been found that uh, after logging the wiki page or someone remove the other uh, individual page. So, you can always revert back to the last version that you have uh, seen. Okay, so, uh, if you see that the content has been deleted, just go to version changes that is there or history. You can see a clock like button. Click on that and look at your user ID and the last time you entered over that. So, look at the date and timestamp, click on it and you will see whatever you did in the last coming in the screen and you can always revert back to this version by clicking the revert to this version option that comes on the right hand side top. Okay, thank you sir. So, uh, to add to that point, so you can also create groups in the wiki. So, I think your question is coming from the angle of what about students doing these assignments? So, you can create groups such that one group of students can only edit their own set of pages. They cannot ed edit any of the pages of another group of students. So, in that case, it will be possible for you to maintain the separation. Within each group, you want all the students to edit equally and you do not expect them to delete information because that entire thing is meant for their own marks. Please Actually, uh, the PG students who are doing uh, second year of their course, I think uh, they can also attend this uh, type of programs. Most of the PG students, uh, they are going for teaching profession. When they learn this uh, pedagogy in their uh, PG, finally itself means it will be more useful to them, is what I feel, my personal opinion. Yes, that is a good point and you, we are also trying to uh, involve more and more students. So, we have right now started with teachers, then we will talk about PhD students and then maybe even PG students who are going to become teachers. So, once we create these resources, then we do plan to make them available in an online fashion for anybody who is interested 
to be able to take it at any time of their convenience that will probably happen sometime early next year uh, there is this uh, question about locking the wiki pages so please note that as members you will not be able to log the pages as of now we will post some activities wherein you will create your own wiki where you can experiment with all the functionalities of permissions and uh, the additional power that you get as a creator of a wiki okay so there don't seem to be any additional new questions and in case we have missed any we will uh, as usual answer them uh, uh, you know consolidate them and answer them in moodle which will be available to you later on also so with that i think we come to the close of uh, today's session okay so thank you very much